So what I then did was return to Harvard Medical School, from which I had recently graduated, to see whether or not we couldn't set up an animal model for stress-related high blood pressure. And we did that. We found that we could train the monkeys to have higher blood pressure. In fact, some of them went on to die of strokes. Then some young people from Transcendental Meditation learned of this work, came to me and said, why are you working with uh, monkeys? We think we can lower our blood pressure. We practice Transcendental Meditation. And we decided to study them and found indeed that the people when they practice Transcendental Meditation had changes in their body that were exactly opposite to the fight or flight response. So this is a very profound uh, capability we have within our bodies. Because in the United States, 60 to 90% of visits to doctors are related to stress-related illnesses. By evoking the relaxation response, you can effectively treat that illness to the extent it's caused or made worse by stress. In other words, if it is a stress-related disorder, Transcendental Meditation is a wonderful way to bring that about. My differentiation from them is believing it is the only way to bring it about. So I reviewed the world's religious and secular literatures to see whether or not there were other techniques similar to Transcendental Meditation that would bring about the same changes. And that's just what we found. Every single culture of humankind that had a written history had techniques that would interrupt everyday thinking. And then we repeated our studies of Transcendental Meditation of people who were using other techniques and we found there was a common set of changes opposite to the fight or flight response that we call the relaxation response. Transcendental Meditation is a wonderful way to evoke the relaxation response. It's as good as any other technique. But from our studies, we found it was not unique. Now, I need from you a, that you choose a word or sound or prayer or phrase in your original language. It could be the number one, ein. It could be peace. It could be love. It could be gentle. It could be calm. Or you could use a prayer. I take Liebe Mama. What's that? Dear Mother. Dear Mother. So in German it is? Liebe Mama. Liebe Mama. Liebe Mama. Liebe Mama. Yeah. Okay, Liebe Mama. Close your eyes and relax all your muscles, starting with your feet, <clears throat> your legs, your thighs. Shrug your shoulders around. Roll your head and neck around. Now on each out breath, Lieber mutter, other thoughts, oh well, and back to Lieber mutter. Now keep your eyes closed, keep them closed, but start thinking your regular thoughts. Did you notice any changes in your body? I didn't pay attention. Okay. How was it emotionally different for you? I fell in love with the idea when I was when you were um, showing me this this relaxation response that it should be kind of a common thing to do during an interview with someone oh, yeah. because you know it brings you down and it 
it creates a peaceful atmosphere. Yeah? Yes, and if you looked at your face, mm -hmm. it looks more peaceful than mm -hmm. when you did mm -hmm. when it began. Yeah, it was like... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dr. Benson. Exactly. You know? <laughs> but that's just the point. When you evoke the relaxation response, you're calmer and you feel better because by thinking only Libra Mutter, you break the train of what's worrying you. How well is this interview going? Mm -hmm. I have to ask this. Mm -hmm. I forgot this. Why doesn't he say mm -hmm. that? But now it frees you of that and it clears your mind literally clears. This should be done 10 to 20 minutes once or twice a day. Good time to do this is in the morning. Get up, go to the bathroom, shower if that's your habit, and sit and do this for more than 10, less than 20 minutes. How do you know the time is up? Do not set an alarm. It'll get you too upset, but have a clock or watch in front of you, and when you think time peak, if it's not time, go back to it. When you're finished, do as I showed you today. Keep your eyes closed, <clears throat> but allow regular thoughts to come in your head, and then open your eyes and sit for another minute, and then get up. If you get up right away, you might be a little bit dizzy. It's not dangerous, but no need for it if you go into it slowly and come out of it slowly. Another good time to do this is in the late afternoon before your evening meal. But, and this is very important what I'm saying now, for the long-term effects, the genetic changes effects, this must be done on a daily basis.